In this video, we're going to review the process of creating new accounting periods. From the home menu, we're going to select company settings. From company settings, select general ledger setup. And now on the ribbon, you see an, an option for accessing the accounting periods. <clears throat> Here is a list of existing accounting periods that have been set up in the system. You'll see a new fiscal year checkbox to indicate the starting date of the new fiscal year. Currently, periods through the end of December 2016 have been created. There are two ways to create accounting periods. The first is to manually insert a new row and type in the starting date of the next accounting period. This method would be required if non-standardized accounting periods were used, for example, where the starting date of each period began on a unique or different date. If calendar months are used, however, you can use a function at the top called Create Year. When I select Create Year, the system will suggest for me the starting date of the next available period, the number of periods in the year, and the length of each period. In this case, 1M is one month. I'll select OK, and the system now creates all of my periods, in this case for 2017. If I'd like to also create my new periods for 2018, 